their own fun. By the way, Diablo, welcome back to, um, crap, I think part 11. No. Nine? Nine. Either 10 or 11. I think 10. I'm kind of messed up here. I think it's 10, because... No, I think it's 11. I'll, I'll correct it in the thing. I finally got past it, and, uh... Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you'd make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Yes. Yes. I like how I have to pour it on her because she's like a fish. <laughs> Are you gonna chase me again? It's weird. You're weird. <laughs> hey, you know that's where I called you? I have a photographic memory for phone calls. Hey, when are you going to hang out with Endi? Apparently now. Let's go back. Are you a Goomba? It's a box. Similarly to be a push. You are a Goomba. Ah, today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving off. Ah! There's no art in that optionary. My list. Shabak. <laughs> it's just timing based grooving. Can we something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind? You! You're young. You still got hope. Yeah, here. Try solving this block pushing puzzle. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah, forget it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I didn't just screw something up there. On our way to Windine's house, have to go back, be backtracking. If I knew I had to backtrack anyway, I wouldn't have made the mini episode I made. Do 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 do. I 
should have probably figured that out though, but I guess it's fine because I needed the armor. But seriously, if I didn't have that armor and these glasses, I would have such a difficult time. I know you can do pacifist, or not pacifist, because that's kind of what I'm doing. Like, freaking murder spree the whole thing. But, I don't see why anyone would want to do that. I mean, that would require killing, like, Papyrus and Nosebuck and all that other thing. How would you... Why would you even... Oops. I don't know why you'd want to do that. I feel like that would just break my heart if I tried that. Hi! Okay, you're not gonna talk to me anymore. <laughs> Love you. Papyrus! Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on, the, on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So are we ready to start? Oopsie doopsie, I just remembered I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. Oh, <laughs> 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 Are you done? Okay, never mind. I don't even... <laughs> so why are you here? Rub your victory in my face to humiliate me even further. Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, don't you? Right? <laughs> really? How delightful. I accept. It's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne would be could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? Ha <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. <laughs> I'll make you like me so much, you won't ever be able to think of anyone else. Wah! <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? I'm glad we're friends. <laughs> I'm gonna look around your house, though. I can't believe he lit through the window like that. Holy, <laughs> he nails the landing. <laughs> I need a pin. One time, Alpha's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and feed himself in grapes. <laughs> I don't really like that guy. <laughs> but I admire his lifestyle. <laughs> you wanna see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. <laughs> the sink, a teacup, in the shape of a fish. Cute. Look inside the bone drawer? Yes. Something is some of the top line MMC thing. 
but you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. <laughs> it's an awesome card. I hate cold food. Papa checks out my fridge, so he's up my food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. <laughs> Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times the size, right? Sure. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. Somebody in office built a giant sword in. She figured out all about figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Do you like her? Aww, that's so cute. You guys better end up together in the game. Comfortable? I'll give you something to drink. <laughs> also, what would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. That is <laughs> really intimidating. I also didn't write down when I started this episode because I didn't think I was going to beat her and I was just taking chances. <laughs> Um. Mm, okay. Um. Why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Sugar goes in tea. Soda. Sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate. Tea box. Wait, won't we curve twice? See, huh? Come here. Actually, I don't want to. I would rather have soda. But it said correct choice, so I figured. I'll take a moment for the water to boil. I'd rather have, you know, soda. Soda's good. I like pop. <laughs> okay, it's all done. Here we are. Is the cup going to slide into the table? Careful, it's hot. Okay. It's not that hot, I just drank it already. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? <laughs> Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. I feel like you hate me, but I love you. <laughs> Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea? That's Azor's favorite kind. Well, actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. <laughs> You're both total weenies. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> nice. You know, I was a pretty hothead kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Azor. I'm doing this on try. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. <laughs> anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, the virus. <laughs> I want him to, like, just come up to the window or something. Like, no. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let the virus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean,. Look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling strips. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. I yeah, like you. I'm glad you're looking out for Papyrus. He's one of my favorites. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. Yeah, it's a year and two. I'll get you some more. Please don't. 
Wait a second. Virus, it's cooking lesson. He's supposed to have that right now. If he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nothing has brought Papyrus lie closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can e even imagine. Foo, afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Ve envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to death with your fists. How do you pound? Strong or wimpy? No. You punch the vessels full force. You knock over to me. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Well, that was fast. Uh, I'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, <laughs> we have the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. <laughs> They are the cheapest! <laughs> yeah! Uh, just put them in the pot. I'll let you put them in. Ferociously. Throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. And things are gonna stay on the bottom. Yeah! <laughs> I'm into it! <laughs> Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta! <laughs> a general. I mean, as a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready, let's do it! Order. Ah, I'm hitting feet! Don't hurt my hand. Oh, let me do it. That's not really stirring. That is not at all stirring. <laughs> I should be reading this out loud, but I'm sorry. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to ground heat. Yeah! <laughs> We're gonna burn down your house. <laughs> ah. Man, no wonder Pyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, that means I can destroy you without regret. But I do... <laughs> but I do want to be your friend. You just can't muster anything to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... Uh... <laughs> the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. I know you're not just a wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart! <laughs> just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgard are fate and fight. But knowing him, probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually. Some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt Azure, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Her house is crying. I'll hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk, too. Well, see you later, punk. Her poor house.
Okay, I think that's all for this episode. That was nice. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode.